Welcome to the practice of Yoga Nidra. Yoga Nidra is typically done at rest, so take a few moments now to lie down and make yourself comfortable. If you need to remain seated, that's of course fine, but do find a way to support yourself so that you can rest and relax deeply. The word Nidra means sleep in Sanskrit, So sometimes people do fall asleep or drift in and out of consciousness as they practice yoga nidra. If that happens for you today, that's perfectly fine. Your body may need sleep most of all. But do try and allow your awareness to remain connected while letting your body rest deeply as you move through your practice. Go ahead and close your eyes. And soften throughout your body. Notice if you're holding any tension in your shoulders. If you're holding tension through your belly. Soften and relax through your hips, your ankles. Allow your feet to relax and roll outwards. whole back side of your body become heavy and allow it to sink into whatever surface that you are resting upon now. There's no need to worry about forcing anything to happen in your practice. Every yoga nidra experience is unique and yours is perfect exactly as it unfolds today. The practice Yoga Nidra begins now. Start to focus on your breath. Simply notice how it feels to breathe in, to fill up, to breathe out and let go. Perhaps your belly rises and falls. Perhaps it's a big movement or maybe it's very subtle. Just let yourself observe your breath. And imagine your breath moving like the waves that crash endlessly on the shoreline. Your breath pulls in like the crest of a wave rising up. The crest and your breath hold for a moment. And then as you exhale, you release your energy and let things go just as the wave crashes towards the shore. With another inhale, another wave rises, holds, releases, and subsides like the water pulling back towards the sea. Inhale and breathe in, hold, connect. Exhale, release, and let go. Continue your breath, moving in, rising, filling up, and then letting go, pulling back, and beginning again. Continue to breathe deeply and slowly in whatever way serves you best. It's now time to connect with your Sankalpa. If you have one that you're working with, it's recommended that you continue to do so until your sankalpa manifests in your own life. If you're setting one today, it's a positive present tense statement that begins with the words, I am. Your sankalpa is a way of being you would like to cultivate within yourself to transform a limiting belief into one of liberation. So for example, if you're working through injury or illness, your sankalpa might be, I am healing. If you're working with tension or anxiety, perhaps I am peaceful or I am safe. If you feel stuck in life, your sankalpa might be, I am growing. If you feel lonely, 
or isolated. Maybe I am connected. I am loved. You're challenged to see your own strengths. Perhaps I am valuable. I am worthy. I am enough. If you're working through a few options, let yourself notice which one feels like it has the most to offer you. Take the time to feel it and then connect deeply. Allow yourself to feel your own sankalpa and connect with the power of these words of truth and transformation. Let these words resonate in whatever way feels right for you within your body and allow yourself to plant this seed of transformation within yourself. We move now to Anumaya Kosha, our rotation of consciousness through your physical body. Begin by placing all of your attention in the thumb of your right hand all of your awareness to your right hand thumb. Move your attention now to your right index finger, your right middle finger, your ring finger, your pinky finger. Feel the palm of your right hand, the top of your hand. Sense your right wrist, forearm, upper arm and shoulder. Move your attention to your right armpit and weave your focus down through your ribs as best you can on the right side of your body. Connect with your waistline and your right hip. Slide your attention down into the top of your right leg. lower leg and ankle. Sense the heel of your right foot, the sole of your foot, the top of your foot, all five of your right toes. Connect with all five of your right toes and then add your foot back in. Add your leg torso on the right side of your body and your arm so that now your entire right side is fully connected integrated and aware whole right side connected move your attention now to your left hand thumb feel the thumb of your left hand your left index finger, your left middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger. Feel the palm of your left hand, the top of your hand, your wrist. Slide your attention up your left forearm, your upper arm, shoulder. Move your awareness to your left armpit. Weave down through your ribs on the left side of your body, through your waistline and your left hip. Connect with the top of your left leg, your knee, lower leg, left ankle, and the heel of your left foot. Move your attention to the top of your foot, the sole of your foot, and all five of your left toes. Feel them connected within your awareness. and 
actually add your foot, your entire left leg, your torso on the left side of your body, your left arm, so that now your entire left side is fully connected, integrated, and aware. Side connected. Whole left side. Now we move through the back plane of your body. Bring your attention to the soles of both of your feet. Feel the backs of both of your heels. Sense your calves. Slide your attention up to both hamstrings. Feel your hips, your low back, mid back, and shoulders. Slide your awareness up to the back of your neck, the back of your head. Sense the crown of your head, the very topmost point of your entire body, and let yourself notice and feel here. Bring your attention forward through your forehead. Connect with your right eyebrow, your left eyebrow, and both eyebrows together. Sense the space directly between your brows. Move your attention down to feel your right nostril, your left nostril, the bridge of your nose, the tip of your nose. Feel your entire nose. Bring your attention to your upper lip, your lower lip, both lips together. Feel your teeth, your tongue, your palate. Feel your whole mouth. Connect with your chin, your jaw, your cheeks. awareness to your right ear, your left ear, and feel both ears together. Move your attention to the space between both ears, at the very center of your head. Move your attention down through your throat. Sense to the right and to the left. Move your attention down further and sense your right collarbone, your left collarbone, both collarbones together. Move down into your chest. Sense your right lung, your left lung beating heart. Move down further into your diaphragm, the bottom of your lungs. Move down further through your organs, the top of your abdomen, down through the center of your belly, and all the way down until you connect with your pelvic floor. Here. Split your attention so that you can travel down through your thighs, your knees, your shins, and your feet. Now, connect your awareness and attention 
to your entire right leg. Feel your entire left leg. Feel both your right and left leg together. Add your torso. Your right arm and your left arm. So that now you can feel everything from your shoulders to your fingertips to your toes connected within your own awareness. Add your neck, your head, your face, and your throat. So that now your entire body is fully connected, enveloped within your own awareness and whole. From this place of wholeness and connection, allow your awareness to move and travel through your body. Take your time. Notice if you can connect to any sensations in each area of your body as you move your attention around yourself. There's no need to seek sensations where they don't exist. There's no need to evaluate or judge any sensations that might arise. Simply observe. You may choose to move through large areas of your body, or perhaps you choose to focus on small places and take a moment to notice what you feel in each place. You can choose to move through each side or move symmetrically through the front side of your body or the back of your body. Simply allow your awareness to travel through your body and continue to observe. If you find any places that feel stuck, numb, blind, or sensitive, rest your attention there for a moment. There's no need to fix anything at all. Just notice and allow yourself to observe. Things may change, they may not. Just let yourself observe and feel. As you're ready to come back to wholeness, rest your attention once again, at the center of your chest. From here, expand your awareness outwards until once again, you connect with whole body awareness. Feel your whole body enveloped in your awareness. Your whole body connected, your whole body whole. From your whole body awareness, move into your energy body now by shifting your focus from your body to your breath. Here, we explore pranamaya kosha, our energy body of breath. Allow yourself to observe how it feels to breathe in, to fill up, to exhale, breathe out, and let go. Let your awareness rest on the simple act of breathing in filling up and letting go of that breath with an exhale as you let go. There's no need to force 
or fix any kind of special breath here. Simply let yourself notice how energy comes into you effortlessly in each moment as you breathe in and breathe out. Your body breathes in and out without any effort on your part from your first moment until your last. This quiet calm always here and available for you to explore when you need to return to connection with the life-giving energy within us all. If your mind is drifting away, bring it back now. Allow your body to remain at rest. This time as you breathe in, count down from the number 12. Let that breath go and move down to 11. Continue breathing in and out, counting yourself down. If you reach zero, you can begin again. Or if you lose count, you can start over. The count isn't important. What is important is keeping your attention focused on your experience of simply breathing at rest in stillness, deeply aware of your own awareness. As you observe each inhale each exhale, allowing your body to rest while your mind explores the depths of your own experience. We move now to Madhumaya Kosha, a layer of thoughts and emotions. Bring your focus from your breath to the center of your chest. This place is said to be the home of our spiritual heart. If this feels like a neutral place, you can allow your awareness to rest here, or perhaps explore the neutrality that you may find in between your eyebrows or at the space in between your ears. those places don't feel neutral for you, you can choose to bring your attention to anywhere else or even to a space outside your body. Simply rest in whatever place feels most neutral for you. yourself notice and observe what sensations are connected to the experience of feeling greedy. What rises up within you when you consider feeling greedy? Notice any sensations or reactions connected to feeling greedy. There's no need to fix. Simply an opportunity to notice experience and observe. Feel greedy in whatever way it rises up for you. And then let it go. Move now to what it's like to experience being generous. Let yourself observe the sensations of feeling generous. Observe them as they rise. And then let generous go. Move back to feeling greedy. As best you can, hold on to whatever sensations rise up with feeling greedy. And then 
add in the sensations of feeling generous. Hold them both together as best you can. Greedy and generous. Unite these opposites into a far greater whole. And then let them go. Return to your neutral space. Now, let yourself experience what it's like to be critical, to feel critical. Notice what's connected to the experience of being critical. What rises up? What can you observe? Let critical go. Move to feeling accepting. What does accepting feel like? Let yourself notice and experience accepting. Let it go. Move back to feeling critical. Hold on to it. Add in feeling accepting. Hold them both together as best you can. Critical and accepting. And then let them go. Return to your neutral space. craving. What's it like to experience craving? To crave? What's connected to it? Let go of craving. Move to contentment. What's it like to feel content? experience a state of contentment. Let it go. Move back to craving. Hold on to it. Add in contentment. Hold them both together as best you can. Craving and contentment. Let them both go return to your neutral space. From your neutral space, allow your awareness to expand outwards until again you feel your whole body connected. Your whole body enveloped in your awareness drifted away, bring your attention back now while letting your body remain deeply at rest. We now explore our insight body, the Nanamaya Kosha, beginning with rapid visualization. With your eyes closed, allow yourself to see each object as it's named. Let each item go as it's time to move on. In your mind's eye, allow yourself to see a horseshoe, the lights on a stereo, fresh garden peppers, books stacked on a shelf. Lanterns illuminating a pathway. Coffee dripping. 
fresh green grass. A handwritten grocery list. Swimming goldfish. A tablecloth. Dancing children. Melted ice cream. A starry night sky. Allow yourself to connect with the starry night sky. Let your awareness float up and be light, knowing your body is safely at rest down on the earth. Let yourself see the stars as they appear for you now. You see a few clouds. Maybe the sky is clear. Perhaps you see more colors among the stars than usual. Or maybe you even travel somewhere else where you can look up and connect with the infinity of space. Allow your awareness to travel to the place that's right for you now, wherever that may be. As you rest and float effortlessly and safely, you begin to see that these stars carry more than just light. like the constellations that have guided navigators centuries ago. These stars hold potential. These stars hold the space for great gifts to manifest and to be seen. These are the gifts held by those who hold life on earth and today. The stars reveal these gifts to you so that you can see them clearly. What are the gifts you see here now? Let yourself simply notice unattached and observant gifts you see may be very clear and tangible in form, or perhaps they take shapes that only you can understand. They may even be things you can only feel, rather than things you can see in your own mind's eye. As you recognize the gifts you see as they take shape. Take a moment to notice if anyone has shared these very gifts with you. Let yourself connect with your own experience and what you've received that has been uniquely given to those who have crossed your path in life. As you reflect, perhaps you can offer gratitude for what has been given and what has been shared. Return your attention to the field of infinite gifts. As you rest in awareness, notice now which gifts you have been given. Maybe it is one gift 
that stands out and comes to you now. Maybe you see more than one. Maybe now is not yet the time for your gift to be revealed. And if so, know that what is uniquely yours will be revealed to you when the time is right. Let yourself connect and feel. As you connect with your gifts, take a moment and recognize what has uniquely been given to you. Rather than craving for the gifts of others, let yourself feel deeply what these gifts enable you to share. Your gifts are unique, precious, and needed here, deeply at rest may choose to offer your gifts so that they may serve those who need. Once more, you return to gazing out at the stars that shine light across the entire universe. Here, you look out, and written in the stars, you see your own Sankalpa. Let yourself return to your connection with your Sankalpa now, and notice what you feel. Mayakosha, or layer of bliss and connection. Notice what you feel, where you feel connection. It may be physical, energetic, emotional, insightful, or a blend some or all of these, you may just feel open space. Whatever it is, simply observe whatever connection exists for you right now. You may choose to return with what you have learned on your journey so that it may help guide serve you. Know that what you feel and what you find in your practice of yoga nidra is entirely of your own creation, of your own wisdom, and of the power and truth within you. Practice of yoga nidra is now complete. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and let that breath go. Breathe in again. As you exhale this time, bring some movement back into your body. Wiggle your fingers, your toes. Slowly start to move through your hips and your shoulders. Eventually, Bend your knees, bring the soles of your feet to touch, and place your left hand on your heart and your right on your body. To so take one more moment in recognition of where we find our own truth. You can choose to remain at rest. Perhaps you choose to roll onto your side or even to push up and stay connected. 
maybe take a few moments of meditation until the time is right for you to move about the rest of your day. Ariom taught that all is truth, all is reality, and all is good. Namaste.